Near the end of the Book of Mormon, Moroni included a correspondence he had received from his father years before. Mormon had been concerned that some Nephites had begun practicing infant baptism. This new practice began to create discord among his people. Both the improper baptisms and the dissension they caused deeply concerned Mormon. Mormon wrote to Moroni, telling him that the practice of infant baptism was troubling before God, for it mocked the atonement and its power to redeem little children from the fall of Adam and their transgressions. It is possible that, at that time and place in history, infant baptism came into the Nephite church from outside cultural influences. In ancient America, the ritual washing of babies was done to please an Aztec goddess. Mormon and Moroni would have recognized this practice as a perversion of the covenantal nature of baptism. The fact that Moroni included these broad doctrinal clarifications implies that he was prompted to provide this guidance to his people as well as to future generations. Later, infant baptism would take root in Christian Europe and remain for centuries, showing that Moroni's explanation is one of the many ways in which the Book of Mormon fulfills its role of teaching plain and precious understandings and covenants that had become lost. And now you know why.